Hey, we haven't got any flags in a while, so let's uh let's uh test this topic out. Um so the United States House of Representatives just a couple days ago passed a a resolution. And what is that resolution? Is it like a bill? Is it like something of any value? Does it have anything to do with like, you know, inflation or anything particularly Political, does it have anything to do with the fact that the country's falling apart and that trains keep derailing everywhere and that there's two point something million illegals coming over the border every year and just shit's completely out of control? Does it maybe have anything to do with the fact that we've pissed trillions of dollars into uh, the complete money laundering fuckhole that is the Ukraine, uh, Ukraine conflict? Is it any of that? No. In uh, accordance with something that the uh, the House has, I think, done multiple times, but feels the need to waste fucking time and do over and over again, it passed a resolution on saying that Israel is not a racist state. It's not an uh, apartheid state. It's not a colonist state. And that the House resolves that America will always be a staunch supporter of Israel, a country that has actually attacked and sunk U.S. ships uh, off the coast of the fucking Levant, a country that has dragged us into multiple conflicts that we had no business being in and lied repeatedly about their enemies so that we'd attack them. You know, if you ever want to know why Libya was um, uh, fucked, completely fucked over, and now it's just like a, a shithole slave fucking slave fucking state and it's it's just a complete fucking nightmare state oh it's uh because uh Muhammad Gaddafi's totally totally a bad guy and um and you know he totally used chemical weapons on people and shit so uh go in there and you know depose him um and it's not of course because he wanted to kick the petrodollar and nationalize his own oil reserves it was it was totally because um because he's a he's a bad guy and uh oh we really need to invade iran why why is uh various politicians of both the left and right repeatedly talked about our desperate need to invade iran for the past 25 fucking years even though iran has done jack shit to anybody oh it's it's because they're enemies of israel Oh, why why do we really need to bomb Syria? And oh, oh guys, uh Assad has totally used chemical weapons and there, of course there's there's no independent fucking indication that he's done anything of the sort. It's and um oh, it it's um he's a totally bad guy. It's cuz he wants to nationalize his oil reserves and and because he's an enemy of Israel. So, of course the house wants to pass this resolution that says Israel is our greatest ally and they did do nothing. And, um, anybody who says anything on the floor about how Israel is a racist apartheid colonialist state will be in a violation of house decorum or something. Okay. Whatever. Well, first of all, Israel is a colonialist state because it was founded by a bunch of outsiders who moved in after Britain forcibly cleared the area out and set aside a certain amount of the Levant and said, this is now Israel and here are all these Holocaust survivors and whatever move in. And any Jew who wants to move in can move in as so long as they prove they're a Jew, because it's also not just a colonial state, it's an ethno state. It's literally an ethno state. In order to get citizenship, you have to prove Jewish ancestry. Okay. So there's that. And then is it an apartheid state? Yes, because First of all, you can't move there unless you're Jewish. And even if for some reason you're able to live there and you're not Jewish, you will be treated very much the way, say, South Africans tended to treat the, the black minorities in their country for a long time. You will be treated very, very poorly by an extremely hostile and extremely racist populace. All right. Are they also a, you know, apartheid state in that they are oppressing somebody outside of them too well if you look at the borders of israel in 1947 it looks very different than the borders of israel in 1958 which looks really different than the borders of israel in 1977 that looks really different than the borders of israel now and the reason why is because they fought two or three wars of expansion and then they've just continued to illegally just expand and they just move into an area and they settle it and they say it's ours now and to this day they've all but wiped out the West Bank, which is this great big thing that used to be on the news all the time before 
the news was basically required, regardless of the slant of the news, to stop talking about Israel in any kind of negative way. Um, yeah, they, they've they done that, and then they've basically blockaded the Gaza Strip. The Palestinians who still live there live in, in horrible poverty, and they're bombed repeatedly. And the, and the excuse is, well, they fire rockets at us. So we were just allowed to bomb the shit out of hospitals, which they do very regularly, bomb the shit out of schools, which they do very regularly, bomb the shit out of Red Cross safe zones that they're not supposed to bomb in violation of UN Convention. They bomb those two. They don't fucking care. Okay, so is Israel racist? Yes. Is Israel apartheid state? Yes. Is Israel colonial state? By definition. It was created by, in, in in modern times, it isn't like the fucking 1700s or the 1400s anything, that another country kicked everybody out of the territory, moved a bunch of Jewish people in, and then the Jewish people expanded either through warfare or through, you know, very dirty means, and just started taking over all this territory around them. And of course... This resolution that I'm talking about here, just to finish up, is just about how you're not even allowed to try to discuss this. There's also something you need to look into called anti-BDS legislation, which has also been signed into law in my state of Florida, as well as several other red states that are normally, oh, my free speech, my free speech. But if you were in any political fashion, or even in a corporate fashion, to say that I'm going to boycott Israel and the products of Israel, divest myself from doing business with Israel or people with dual citizenship with Israel or people who do business in Israel or make any effort to sanction Israel for its actions, foreign and abroad, you will be fined or censured or barred from office. There is no other nation no other race, no other religion, and no other people on the entire fucking United States that are afforded this privilege, which is expressly against the First Amendment, expressly against the 11th and the 14th Amendment. It is criminal to pass this kind of legislation. But of course, how many times do I have to tell you the law does not exist? You live in an oligarchy that has protected and favored people who are not subject to the law. And in fact, a lot of these people have so much fucking money and so much undue influence that they make the law whatever the fuck they want it to be, whether it's written, whether it's a resolution or not. Judges, judiciaries, the legislature does nothing but jerk these people off and pay money into their interests and use our military for their interests and not for our own. If we used our military for our own interests, the National Guard would be policing the southern border. Of course it doesn't. We have a mostly defunded immigration and control agency or whatever the fuck ICE stands for that does nothing. And there's no wall. You can't even build a wall. You got the judiciary fighting an executive order to build the wall, even though they know goddamn well that that is something you can write an executive order for. You can also write an executive order to beef up ICE. They'd fight that too. This country is being destroyed deliberately by the people that you think you voted to represent you. And even... Some people out there are questioning whether anybody's vote even matters, but of course it's against TOS to say that it doesn't. But I can certainly say that there isn't a person you will ever vote for that will ever do a fucking damn thing for this country. This country is a client state of Israel, and everything we spend trillions of dollars on is in Israeli interests. And if you say, hey, wait, I thought we were only, we only spend like $40 billion on Israel. We spend maybe more money on Ukraine. All the richest businessmen in, in Ukraine are Jewish. The president of the Ukraine is Jewish. Anyway, this is as based as I can get today. I'll see if this gets struck for, I don't know, I don't know if BDS and, and, and uh, fucking um, saying that Israel is a racist apartheid state is against the TOS of YouTube. We'll find out. But it is. And the fact that 
100% of House Republicans and 95% of House Democrats voted yes on this worthless, useless resolution to just basically get on their knees and suck the cock of Israel for no particular reason other than they're our greatest ally, which if you've ever talked to anybody like me, that's a meme. They're not our greatest ally. They are the enemy of the state. They are the abuser of the state. They are the occupiers of this state. They, 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 I can't say much more than that because, oh, then a conspiracy theory, a racist conspiracy theory. But I'm talking about the nation, a nation that wouldn't exist without our help and wouldn't be able to do all the human rights abuses and atrocities they do without our help. And almost all the, the human lives that have been laid down by the U.S. military over the past 35 years have been on their behalf. And it's just sickening to me that more people aren't aware of this because it's really fucking obvious. And it's funny that the only people in Congress who do anything openly and explicitly anti-Israel is, in fact, the squad, the progressive justice, justice Democrats, the Rashida Tlaib's, the Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's, and um, Ilhan Omar's of the world, and, and their assorted people who get less press, but I, I, there's like five or six people in the squad. They're the only people who ever vote against shit like this. It's kind of funny how this is another reason why right versus left politics are nonsense, because sometimes there's some very key issues that should really be looked at, and the only things people who are looking at at the issue are the fucking retard communists there's nobody out here representing you nobody not trump not trump definitely not ron desantis definitely not ron desantis there's a whole lot of stuff ron desantis has done that i like he's fucked with disney he's fucked with um the child predators who are trying to rape kids in schools okay that's great uh, he's done some stuff against the um, illegal um, separation of trans people from the rest of us in terms of having to abide by the fucking law. But has he done anything um, in terms of geopolitics besides spend money, spend taxpayer money to fly over to Israel to sign in Israel anti-BDS leg uh, legislation. Now, fuck Ron DeSantis and fuck Trump because he does the same thing. Trump's pro-war in Ukraine. Trump's pro-Israel, uh, pro pro-Zionist uh, dual citizens with Israel in America. He's not our guy. There is nobody that is on behalf of any Christian person, any white person, any male, any, any anti-affirmative action, any anti, anybody who wants to, you know, uphold the constitution. There isn't one motherfucker like that in Congress. Not one, not fucking one. I will continue to say that regardless of the topic that we're dealing with, there is no political solution to the ills of this country. The only solutions that can come will be cultural. There has to be a major sea change in the zeitgeist of this country, or things will continue to get significantly worse. Thanks for watching.